Welcome back. I'm with NASA Administrator Bill Nelson following the scrubbed attempt of the second launch attempt of the uh, Artemis 1 mission, the Space Launch System and Orion spacecraft. Good to have you back, Administrator. Um, unfortunately, not the result we were looking for today either. Want to get your thoughts and your reaction. We'll go when it's ready. Uh, we don't uh, go until then, and especially now on a test flight because we're going to stress this and test it uh, and test that heat shield uh, and make sure it's right before we put four humans up on the top of it. Uh, so this is part of the space business. I, I've told you before, you know, it's, it's something I'm accustomed to on my flight which was Hoot Gibson and Charlie uh, Bolden's flight way, way, way back. Uh, we scrubbed four times. Mm -hmm. We were delayed over the better part of a month, but the fifth try was an almost flawless six-day mission. So um, this is part of our space program. Be ready for the scrubs. Space is hard indeed. Um, the question now on everybody's mind is going to be, when will we have another launch attempt? Any thoughts on that? Well, the mission management team is meeting this afternoon. They're gonna look at it. They're gonna see, is there still a possibility now, or are they gonna to have to roll back into the vehicle assembly building? If they decide that's the case, then it'll be an October launch. And uh, October, I would say, although the window opens in early, I suspect it'll be more like the middle. Because remember, the first week of October, we've got another crew. Mm -hmm. It's an international crew. Two international participants on the crew of four that are going to the International Space Station. That's right, SpaceX is uh, Crew 5, NASA and SpaceX is Crew 5 mission scheduled for early uh, October. Um, you mentioned the MMT, of course, the mission management team, they're going to meet this afternoon and then hopefully we'll have a press conference after that. Um, I've been watching this launch team for the past two weeks now and just impressed at how focused and how hard they work. Any thoughts you want to share? with them about uh, the effort they put in so far? I'm very proud of the launch team. Uh, they do it right. They do it by the book. Uh, they do it very professionally. And that's why we have had this extraordinary success that we've had over the years. Uh, sometimes we make mistakes, but we try to minimize those because these are human being uh, lives on the top of that rocket. And I can tell you, when you strap into that rocket, you are very grateful that you've got a, a launch team like this uh, that knows what they're doing and they're not gonna let you go until it's time. And you know firsthand the power of those RS-25s and those two solid rocket boosters from your flight. Uh, really quickly, before we let you go, you uh, were over there at our uh, VIP area as well had some special guests. You were telling me an interesting story about a guest you had there. Uh, there was a young man uh, before he was seven years old. Uh, he wanted very much to be an astronomer. And he signed uh, a document with other children that is on Artemis. And the reason that's so important, that young man, uh, named Gaskin died uh, from brain cancer. Mm. Uh, his family is a special guest of NASA here today. Uh, today he would have been 13 mm. years old. And so we particularly uh, uh, recognize the family in front of all of our international and American guests today. What an honor for that family to yes. have them there. All right, that'll do it for us. Thank you, uh, Administrator Bill Nelson. Appreciate you being here. Unfortunately, we didn't get a launch today, but uh, the hope is we're going to keep staying with it and uh, see what happens next. That's going to wrap up our launch coverage on NASA TV and our social media channels. For more updates, tune in, tune in to our social media accounts. You'll be sure to find the latest on the Artemis One mission there. For now, have a good day. We'll see you next time.